Okay, so we're joined by manager Paul Jones before the last game of the season. Paul, lower break tonight, 40, the 46th and final game of a very, very long season. What are your thoughts ahead of this one? Yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, you know, we're in a good run of form, aren't we? And lower break are in a very good run of form. So, um, yeah, it should hopefully be a very good game to end the season. And both teams, I'm sure, will be going for it to make sure... Well, either we finish ahead of them or they finish ahead of us. So, yeah, it's a good good fixture to finish the season on. It, it's meaningful still. It's not just a, a dead rubber, so no one's got anything to play for. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. And, obviously, as you say, the, the winner of this basically finishes in the top ten. The aim for this season, it obviously, is progression. And that's been your message all the way through. Progress from last season and look at that. Um, how do you think we've got on so far? Well, there definitely has been progression. I think, you know, in, in, in-house, the... the Playoffs was the aim this season. If you know, if we're honest, you know, uh, we can't sit here and go like ninth and tenth is what we were aiming for because it wasn't. But I think on the balance of play, we've started the season very well. We've ended the season very well, and then that middle part of the season has caused us a problem in terms of getting in the playoffs. And you know, we look around and go, you know, we, we've maybe missed an opportunity there, but we've developed the group further. I think everyone who's watched us maybe the last kind of five six games. Um, and the way we're playing, it can see big improvements individually and collectively. And, you know, hopefully that will stand us in good stead. You know, we, we, we have prioritised development of the group so as we can keep pushing on. Um, and, and maybe that has cost us ultimately getting getting up, up into the playoffs this season. But um, with the league the way it was and the number of teams with the qualities that they had, it was going to be really, really tough to so anyone who is in, in those playoff positions at the end of the season um, thoroughly deserves them. And it wasn't quite our year, but... Um, you know, we're in a really good place to, to push on next season, I think. And, Paul, we've just caught up with Furo Davies there. He's just left a little message for the fans. Obviously, this is going to be his last game. Can we just have your thoughts on Furo over the last three years and, and his impact on this squad? It's been a massive impact, hasn't it? You know, I think lots of those kind of fond memories that the supporters have from from season one, especially, you know, his Furo scoring late goals and, you know, the, the stadium being in raptures and, he, you know, he's got his own kind of cult following, you know, the fact he's a teacher at Balakameen and, you know, the, the kids really look up to him there and he's the, the charity work he's, he does with Bala Boots as well is, you know, he's a, he's a big character within football on the Isle of Man, but also our local community and the way he's conducted himself while representing this football club and football on the island has is, is been exceptional. So we'll, we'll miss him um, when, he, when he goes but um, hopefully loads of people get down here today and, and, and give him a good send-off but ultimately he still shows what he's capable on a football pitch and you know the, the fans see the, the, the proper Furo today and, and, and leave um, with really good memories of him in an FCR of Man Kit and, and hopefully we can support him to do that. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to him pulling the shirt on and, and hopefully he can uh, put in a strong performance and the supporters can show their appreciation, not just to him, but the rest of the group. And, you know, there's Tiernan as well, who's, he'll be off to America probably before the season starts next season. So, that, you know, there's a couple of players here that, that the, the fans might not see in a Raven shirt for, for a while, if ever again. Um, so I'd love a big crowd down tonight and, and, you know, to finish, not just finish the season off and, and so we can share that with the supporters, but also so they can acknowledge that some of the lads who have made a big commitment to this this football club over the last couple of seasons and and send them on their way in style. All right, Paul, cheers for your time and for the last time this season, good luck ahead of the game tonight. Cheers, Dean.